This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Like close in together. Usually at Bud, it's like spread out, but everybody was close together and it was loud, honestly. Um, I love playing here. So, yeah. For Samford, like 11 times in the first quarter, just what'd you think of y'all's early defense kind of setting that tone that nothing was going to be easy for them? Um, yeah, so. Urgency was basically what we wanted to come out and do. Uh, we knew that coming off of the loss that we had on Sunday, um, we didn't play our defensive. Uh, our, we didn't play our best defensively. So coming out in this game, we kind of wanted to get back to what we normally do. And I feel like that's what we did. I agree. And it seemed like late in the game, especially you just kind of started to, you know, really feel your way around getting to the rim, get drawing fouls. Just whenever, you know, you're able to do that. Um, how ag aggressive kind of do you turn your mindset? I mean, I was aggressive in the first half, but it just, they weren't falling. So just to know, like, it'll eventually start falling. Um, I kind of knew, like, we let Stanford, Stanford stick around and, you know, they probably shouldn't have been in the game with us. But at that point in time, it was more so like, okay, like, we're trying to get a win here. So do what you have to do to help your team get a win. Sam, efficient game, 15 points in that second half. He mentioned the late scoring. 6-0 personal run, they'd cut it to 10. Y'all kind of expanded back to 16. And they really weren't much of a threat after that. Talk about the scoring, but also we all, recent discussion with you, Jack of all trades, rebounds, assists, keeping those turnovers low, and then the efficiency. Um, yeah, so just getting in there, making sure that we secure rebounds. I know for sure uh, Sailor and Miriam did most of our rebounding tonight, but it was those little rebounds when they were going after it and the ball bounced that us little guards could get. So I just feel like doing the things, like the little things to help my team get a win is what I'm here to do. Backcourt, you guys, after Dowda hit that first three to start the game, kind of struggled there, but you got him going, you hit some threes and kind of carried the scoring load for a while. What did you feel about your game tonight on that part of it? I actually want to say in a timeout, Nabes told us the next time we get an open three, drive it. And I still shot it, so really I didn't have a choice but to make it. But I think just like realizing like those are shots we take every day like we should have the utmost confidence when we're shooting those shots like we practice them every day and just knowing like yeah, we're in a little low right now, but like it's the first quarter, it's the first half. Like we still have time to go on a run. So just remaining like calm and steady instead of like panicking. Oh, we're on a like we're in a little freeze area, but just remaining like calm and steady. And a follow up on the offense, you guys dominated points in the paint, twenty eight twelve. A lot of that y'all started getting your backdoor cuts. Uh, Keats came in and got some runners. Y'all started really attacking the paint. Talk about how special this backcourt can be because people think a big's finishing inside, but you guys were getting into the rim. Um, I honestly think it has a lot to do with our front court. Miriam being able to hit that three brought their big out a lot. And going into the game, we were like, we're not going to get as many layups because they have someone protecting the rim. But Miriam being able to hit those threes, like that drags her out, and then we can reattack in those gaps. <laughs> At three, uh, I think to end the first half, y'all's team, it's like y'all are really good on last possessions of quarters and stuff like hitting big shots. Just will you walk me kind of through that possession. And I know you like that spot. Um, Well, number one, I back to again, confidence. I think we're all confident and we want to take that shot at the end of the quarter, end of the game or end of the half. But um, uh, me and Sam talked about it in halftime. I was like, I didn't think I was going to be open. Like I thought they saw me running and I thought someone was going to jump in the passing lane. But I just I think it's confidence. We're all confident that we can make those shots. And last thing I have is um, Jenna played nine minutes, had five rebounds. It just felt like her presence was really big uh, today. What do y'all think about, you know, maybe the work that she's been putting in to have a game like that? Uh, I think every day she comes into practice with a great attitude. And we know she's a shooter. And I feel like she's kind of had a hard time adjusting. But never once has she got down on herself or been a bad teammate. She's always just stuck with the process. And she apologized. I threw it to her today. She apologized for missing. I'm like, I don't care that you miss. I just want you to shoot it. And then the second half, of course, she makes it. And I'm like, I don't like, I'm not basing it off whether you make it or not. I want you to shoot it when you're open. You're a shooter. I want you to shoot. She just comes in and does the first thing. That's what I love about Jenna. She'll come in and do whatever we need her to do. No questions asked with a smile on her face. So that's, that's the good thing about her. Great scorers have games like this. Talia, young player still. What was the vibe like in the huddle or get from the backcourt mentoring her through this game to still stay focused on the goal at hand, which is to win and fight through? Well, we know Talia sometimes, like, she, she wants to do good for us. And when she isn't, it'll be, it, it's tough for her. But, you know, just us being able to encourage her, like, you're good, like, we got you. Like, even though you're down, we're here to, like, pick you up. Um, some players are kind of like, 
they kind of just like need their time to themselves. And I feel like she's that type of person. But as long as we keep encouraging her, like every few minutes, I feel like that's how she kind of, she, she didn't do bad, but she didn't do what we know she's capable of. And so just keeping encouraging her throughout the game, I think is what kept her in the game with us. And I think letting her know, like, this is one game out of the whole season. Like, it might feel like the world is ending right now while you're in the moment, but tomorrow it, no one's going to remember that you played how you played. And in my eyes, she didn't play poorly. Like, she was getting after it on the defensive end. But I know being a freshman, it just feels like, you know, everything's going wrong and, like, you you can't help but be frustrated. And so just, like, saying the little things to her when she's at the free throw line or while we're in transition, like, just to keep those encouraging words. And maybe she may not receive it at that moment, but, like, just knowing that your teammates believe in you, I feel like it's a different type of trust. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.